Hello party people, this is your TechTuber Rahul. Apple ecosystem, this is the term which is something which we keep on hearing very frequently. What is this ecosystem? A lot many videos are about this environment in which all your Apple gadgets communicate with each other and are utilizing features of each other. From the times when your Mac was capable of picking up calls which came up on your iPhone Till today, a lot many features have been added to this ecosystem. Be it through a software upgrade which allows you to copy something on your iPhone and to directly go on to your Mac and simply click paste or any other iOS or iPadOS device or be it using your Apple Watch to control the volume of sound or the music that is playing on your iPhone just by rotating the dial on your watch or be it through some hardware upgrade just like the UN chip which enhancing the airdrop feature further or utilizing it to locate the other Apple devices as seen in the newly launched AirTags or through the Find My application by integrating your location data and using the Find My network. If you still are not aware of the marvelous feature of locating your objects which AirTags come with, consider checking this video out where I have explained in detail how your AirTags work. Apple has really come a long way by using its creativity to make this ecosystem even more stronger. And today, to that ecosystem, just by using a little tweak through a software update, made a very little yet remarkable improvement in one feature face unlock. Apple was on the brink of revolutionizing the facial detection feature which is used to unlock your iPhones and iPads and is even used for many security related authorization processes. And then came the COVID virus. Even some brands have already shifted to fingerprint scanning considering the massive use of face masks which has become a practice and is not expected to go away anytime sooner. But Apple still decided to go with the face unlock which actually is troublesome for its users because every time the user will have to remove his her mask so as to pass the face scanning. A lot many uh, rumors came in past which claimed that Apple soon will launch its face scanning feature with the mask on but nothing came in real. But with the latest software update, Apple simply utilized its creative thinking to utilize the proximity of your Apple Watch to authorize the process of face unlocking. Now this little update is a great relief for a regular iPhone user. Now you don't have to slide your mask down, which I know you are habitual of, even I am habitual of, while unlocking your iPhone when you turn on your screen and attempt to get your face scanned the same time your iPhone looks for the proximity of Apple Watch which you are wearing on your wrist which is secured with a passcode and you have unlocked your watch and if your iPhone finds the watch in its proximity it simply unlocks your iPhone and in doing so it uses nice beautiful haptics on your watch and your iPhone does this process so smoothly if not less than in the same time as it takes in the process of scanning your face and unlocking your phone. Not just the speed, this process is repeatedly accurate and I have not faced even at once the problem in this feature. So this feature not only adds up to the ease of the user, but it also makes sure your safety is ensured. So this is the second update after the hand wash feature which came into your watch, which ensures the safety of the user considering the current COVID crisis. So if you are an iPhone user, go update your iOS to the latest version, which is iOS version 14.5 and start using this feature. It will take a few days to get rid of this habit of putting your mask down while unlocking your phone. But believe me, it will add up a lot of ease in the coming days when you keep using this feature. That's all for this video. This is your TechTuber Rahul and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye, take care.